Brannigan, what do you got? I need a wingman tonight. Blonde bar, martini. Mac? She's thinking. Let's run Fiji Fantasy. Ooh, yes. So I want to start with a question. I don't think anyone has asked y'all. Okay. It's a curveball, if you will. Okay. And let me know if anyone's asked you before. But mm -hmm. so Gina, you've played a journalist in your in some of your last work in this one. In, in, in the last four projects. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, what is that? Yeah. Just, I was like, wait, is she? I don't like, even write. You know? I mean, I'm dyslexic. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't write. I don't read well. Listen, as a journalist, I love it. Okay. So my question is. As a someone who plays a journalist, what question would you ask yourself and Damon about this movie? Mm. That is a curveball. Yeah, that's a that's a deep question. Do you know what my brain did? Yeah, it just went. It? it went like mm. this. Mm. <laughs> um, what would I ask us in this? I would ask. I'd yes, go, thank you. I'd thank go, you for saving me. I'd go. Uh, given the uh, obvious amount of fun you had mm. in this film. Would you guys ever work together again? That's my so answer is yes. My answer is like right now, yes, immediately. I do all my work with just Damon <laughs> the rest of my life if we, I could. We play every character. Just, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Can I work with y'all too? Can I just be like the journalist off in the side that's if like you the wear those filler? shoes? Yeah, okay. you got the room. Done, done, yeah. got it, got it. <laughs> so, Damon, you know, there's a lot of uh, cliches in uh, rom coms and. You know, you've played in some some awesome rom coms like some Love cliches. Guarantee. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know some Netflix rom coms that you yeah, both yeah. have done. Um, what are some cliches that you think should stay in rom coms, and some that you should think should be retired? Um, That's a great question too. <laughs> you know what's interesting? I used to kind of, I used to not like the idea of knowing how the movie is going to end mm. from the beginning, um, but after doing this movie. I thought because this was such a fresh take on the rom-com that I'm okay with it. I'm okay with, like, like I already knew how the movie was going to end by the, the second scene that I, even when reading it, I was like, oh, I already know. Yeah. Yeah. But the journey is what uh, kind of differentiates it. So I'm cool with that staying the same. I think what I would lose is um, how good the sex is in all the movies. <gasps> Right, because they're always like rolling off each other, like, oh, that was crazy. <laughs> it's like a little wet chest. He's like, really? Like, shut, you know, it's, it's whack a lot of the time. And it was like three and a half minutes. It's literally three and a half seconds. It's one se It's like, uh, you know. Uh, Gina, what, what's the best pickup line that someone has used in, for, on you in real life, and have you like used that on someone? Oh, the best pickup line was my husband, uh, our first date. I had a blind date that night. I completely forgot about it. I said, um, oh, my God, I have a blind date. I can't believe that. I completely forgot. I, I don't even want to go to it. And my husband said, uh, go to it. Call me after. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and we're married. Yeah. Wait, so. He dropped it. So no, they were, were dating at the time. Or? No, no, no. no, no. Y'all were just friends at the no, time. No, she said, yeah, they were friends. They were interested in each other. And then. You know, Those she went on the blind date, and he was like, "Go on it." Call me. After. I already know you. I, know, I already know you mind. It's kind of similar Basically. to the movie, right? Like, oh yeah, no, this I mean, is kind of similar. In a long, uh, in a long ours is a form long form of that. That yeah. Yeah, yeah long form. Yeah, that's yeah. really interesting. So y'all were friends at first. So he was like, "Fine." And then. well, we weren't. It was the first time we hung out, like, interested in one another. Oh, okay. Okay. And that day, I had the blind date. And oh. I forgot that I had a blind date that yeah. day. And I was having such a good time with him that I was like, I don't want to go on this. Yeah. And he was like, no, go on it. Call me after. And I did. That was smooth. It was so smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, now you're married and have a child. Yeah. I mean, he did it all right. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.